Yo, what's up guys, it's Teebs. I just want to touch on why I stopped playing Cold War. Because sometimes I upload some videos from a certain game and then they're just gone without warning. So I thought I'd make videos on like games that I stopped playing. Because why not, man? Uh, why I stopped playing Cold War? Um, the game is meh. It's just meh. Just a lot of weird things like, okay, map design, not the best. I like objective game modes, like hard point and mainly domination and just the flags are in just the worst areas possible like just the flag setups on most of the maps are just bad in my opinion because you take a map that is versatile for all different weapons and you put these flags in very close quarters areas that you can't even get in there with, with most guns half the half the arsenal that they have is not usable playing domination I don't know, it's just, it just gets annoying. I mean, the weapons are cool, but they're just, there's some that are just way too much damage. That'll probably get fixed, but I mean, I don't have time to wait. I ain't trying to wait four months for stuff to be balanced, man. Other than that, I have a full-time job. I work more than 40 hours a week, close to 50. I don't mind it. I like it. I just don't have time. You know, really, it's like, yo, man, I got Cyberpunk, I got Valhalla, and I got Cold War. And Cold War, psh, put that out real quick. I'm like, eh, I'm good. So mainly playing Valhalla and Cyberpunk is going to be my thing. Yeah, man, I just don't want to play Call of Duty. It's, it's just boring, man. You know, and, and just development of this one just didn't feel good. Like, when the most hype about your brand new game you worked on for three, four years or whatever is Nuketown. I mean, oh, come on, man. Come on, man, you, you really, like, just put all that work in. The only thing people like is Nuketown, man. <laughs> the maps, I just, besides the maps not playing good on certain game modes, they're just not that appealing at all. Kind of boring. I kind of wish Ground War was in the game. Yeah, I guess there's that combined arms thing. I don't know what that is. Like, the, 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 the maps are too big. <laughs> so, I don't know. Wish I'd bring back, like, uh, I don't even know, MW3 Ground War? Was Ground War in MW3? I don't even think so. Maybe MW2? I don't know. It's been so long since we had the regular Ground War that was the first Ground War in, in uh, you know, Call of Duty. Whatever way that was done is the way that I would like it, but I guess it's not going to be that way anymore. But yeah, man, just had to pl stop playing Cold War. Not enough time, not enough interest to play it. I mean, dude, the zombies camos for the guns are better than the multiplayer camos. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to play one zombies map over and over and over and over and over again for camos that are better than multiplayer camos. It's just weird. A lot of weird things on Cold War. But, you know, every year I always buy the Call of Duty and usually don't play it long. I don't know. It just gets to me. It's just not, it's just not always as good as what it used to be. But mainly that's because most of the friends that I used to play Call of Duty with are no longer here on, like, the games, you know. So, I don't know. This gets boring really fast for me. Especially with the, like, oh, maybe if I wait three or four months and go through all the punishment of waiting three or four months with the game that's just kind of, you know, not balanced good. This doesn't seem worth it to me, man. Anyway, that's why I stopped playing Cold War. It's been Teebs. Peace out.